finally, Two Trees Sapphire Plus large volume 3D printer is here. Two Trees has introduced one new cool feature that apparently is not properly advertised anywhere. I have gotten lucky with my Sapphire S and I have to say that not everyone has. The Sapphire Plus may not be free of issues, but it seems pretty well designed and it has a few surprises. I encountered one issue with my Sapphire S. The blue sticky pad unglues at about 80 degrees Celsius. The Sapphire Plus claims that this issue has been resolved with a warp resistant bed pad. It also seems that there are differently equipped versions of the Sapphire Plus, but first, Let's get into the pros for the Sapphire Plus and after the inconveniences of the Sapphire Plus, I'll let you in the observations of some of the features that seem different on different retailers' websites. Large capacity battery. Well, this is not the actual battery, it is the power supply. So this is a large capacity power supply, which is kind of regular capacity because it is 360 watt at 24 volts, which should be okay for heating the bed and the nozzle to 100 degrees Celsius and 260 degrees Celsius respectively. One cool feature is the automatic bed leveling, but looking at the 3D print head, it is perhaps the same as the Sapphire S with the external sensor. There is no mentioning about the mesh bed leveling. Also, it comes equipped with a filament runout sensor, so if you run out of filament during a 3D print, it will pause the print for you. Obviously, this 3D printer has a large volume, and that's usually why people opt for this. Now, let's analyze the more interesting things about this 3D printer. Unlike the same smart, the frame on this 3D printer is thicker. There is more meat on the bones, and that helps with the reducing of vibrations in the entire frame. However, unlike the same smart, this is a Bowden extruder, and that will affect your retraction. A nice feature is the single vertical linear atrial per each side of the bed. This innovation, if it works well, is a great idea for keeping the costs down because it reduces the vertical linear H rails to only two rather than four, one per each side. Just as the Corception 300, the Sapphire Plus has two horizontal side rails which stiffen the frame and hold the linear H rails in place. Also, this time they used four big knobs for the fine tuning of the bed along with stronger springs just like in the Sapphire Pro. Another interesting feature seems to be the top frame, which extends downward to stiffen further the entire 3D printer frame. As for the inconveniences, the first one seems to be like a downgrade, but it also keeps the costs down. They only equip this 3D printer with an SD card slot, so no more USB 3D printing unless you hook it up to a Raspberry Pi or a computer. The Bowden style extruder is not my favorite because it makes it harder to tame excessive stringing. However, the extruder is a BMG clone which can be moved to a direct extruder with a few 3D printed upgrades. The BMG extruder clone features dual chamfered gears which reduce the risk of filament breakage. But surprise, surprise, they have synchronized the two Z stepper motors with a closed loop GT2 belt inside the base. So if one motor skips a step, the other will pick it up. In addition, it is harder for the bed to slide down under its weight or under a big 3D print that has paused due to filament runout. And you don't even need the anti-backlash T-nuts. I also want to make you aware that it seems that the 3D printer comes equipped differently on GearBest than other websites. In addition, it seems to be a bit more expensive, but it comes with four 2208 TMC stepper controllers rather than two, and a heated bed that seems thicker and perhaps works better. So I had two options, one to impulse purchase the Sapphire Plus and sink 500 doll hairs, or double down and sink the money into some risky dividend yielding shares. I purchased 20 shares of EQM and 20 shares of MPLX, and by the end of the day I was down $10. The idea is to check in 6 months how much is the cost of an impulse purchase. I hope you understand that stock investments are very risky. Case in point, I invested in distressed companies which went under. In the beginning of the last year, I impulse purchased 3 3D printers and throughout the year I kept on accumulating tools and parts which quickly added up to a significant amount. So this year I'm changing the expense strategy a bit with some investments to see if it is a wiser decision. At any rate, two trees deliver some surprising features and I'm quite eager to see their next move. Maybe a new version of Blueware with dual synchronized Z lead screws, but we will have to wait and see. And until then, I bid Demon Ami's farewell and adieu.
On this channel I speak mostly about 3D printers and their particular specifications, features or lack thereof. Sometimes I may throw a wrench in the system with a review about my computer setup and or car fixing video. If you think you can stomach this type of format, throw me a like or a subscribe. Thank you.